What's up y'all? It's Brandy and I'm coming back on to do part three of my healthy hair series. So if you guys missed part one and two, then click here for either of the links that I will have located on this side so you guys can catch up. But today's part three is gonna be about my favorite leave-in conditioners and also discussing the importance of leave-in conditioners to your hair's health. So if you're interested in finding out what some of my favorite leave-in conditioners are and why they're so important, then please keep watching. So first we're gonna start by discussing the importance of leave-in conditioners. Leave-in conditioners are super, super important because essentially they're the first product to touch your hair after you've shampooed, deep conditioned, used a rinse out conditioner, or whatever it may be. And it's also the product that stays on your hair for the longest period of time. It's the first that touches your strands after rinsing everything out and starting fresh. And as I said, it's one product that stays in your hair the longest. So for a leave-in conditioner, you want to make sure that it's something super, super moisturizing and something that's going to give you long-lasting moisture also. All of the leave-in conditioners that I'm going to discuss with you today do just that. They give super long-lasting moisture. For a lot of ladies, the leave-in conditioner is just the first step and they go on to apply oils, also stylers, and other things of that nature. So for me, I sometimes actually style with leave-in conditioners when that's the only thing that I put in my hair aside from maybe a little bit of oil or some aloe vera juice. So getting into the products, the first is one of my tried and trues. I've talked about this product on so many videos on my channel and you probably already know what it is. And the product is the Kinky Curly Not Today. This stuff is amazing. This is not only a leave-in conditioner, but it's also a detangler, so it can do double duty for you. Um, I only use it as a leave-in conditioner. The ingredients in here are bomb, like they're awesome. Um, many of them are organic, and it's also not that many ingredients in this product, and that's what I do love about a lot of products. When you, it's very, very simplistic, and you know you can pronounce all the ingredients in it, so. That's just something that I, I love to look for when I go out and try new products. Um, the smell of this is, I really can't even describe the smell to you guys. But it's something very, very light. What I love about this is that it really, really smooths my hair. It gives me, like I said, the long-lasting moisture that I look for in leave-in conditioners. And it's super light. That's the thing about it. You would think that a product that's this light would just not do much for your hair at all but it it packs a powerful a powerful punch and i really really love that about this next leave-in conditioner that i am in love with that i found recently is the as i am leave-in conditioner now i've tried tons of products from this line and most of them have been awesome for me um, I have done a review on this, so if you want a more in-depth review of this product, then you can definitely check out that link. Ingredients in this are also rather simplistic. It's a few more, but um, for the most part, they're all really, really great ingredients. This also has a light fragrance, and it's also a light consistency, somewhat similar to the Kinky Curly Not Today, which is why I actually think I love this so much, is because of that fact. It gives you tons and tons of moisture, it smooths your strands, it also allows you to detangle your hair, and it's something that washes out really, really easily. Both of these products are curly girl friendly. They don't have any types of silicones in them or anything like that, so if you're one of those ladies who is on the curly girl method, then these are perfect for you. And the last leave-in is the Coconut Shea from the Eden Body Works line, and it's their leave-in conditioner. It's a bit thicker consistency than the other two leave-ins, and the smell of this does linger a lot more than they do. It smells coconutty. It also does not have like any silicone sulfates, um, or parabens, mineral oils, none of those things, so it's curly girl friendly. I believe this one was cheaper out of the three leave-ins that I've discussed overall, and I really, really love it. Like, either of these three leave-ins I will throw in my bag if I'm traveling or going somewhere, but these are the three that I definitely use the most. Like, I can't even tell you any other leave-in conditioners that I've used in the past, like, six months. Yeah. 
So if you guys have any suggestions of some favorite leave-ins that you've been loving recently, then definitely shoot them down in the comment section below and share them with all of us. Stay tuned for part four of this series. If you guys have any questions about the products that I've mentioned or anything at all, then definitely shoot it in the comment section below. And that's it guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.